my students in our previous lecture we have st studied about main facts of hyperbola in today's lecture we will be doing some examples related to hyperbola the first example they have given us an equation x square upon 9 minus y square upon 16 equals to 1 and they are asking us to calculate pokey vertices eccentricity as well as length of later step point if we compare our given equation it's x square upon means it will be x square upon a square y square upon b square equals to 1 means a square equals to 9 which implies a will be plus minus 3 means a will be 3 b square equals to 16 implies b can be plus minus 4 means 4 we know c is under root a square plus b square c is always greater than a and b in case of hyperbola it is 3 square plus 4 square under root 9 plus 16 25 root of 25 will give us c as 5 now for this equation you know focus is plus minus c0 c we have got 5 so focus points will be plus minus 5 0 vertices we have learnt in this equation is plus minus a0 and a is 3 so vertices points will be plus minus 3 eccentricity we have learned it is ratio of c and a so e will be c upon a means a will be e will be 5 upon 3 so eccentricity comes out to be 5 upon 3 length of later sector we have learned it is 2v square upon a here b is 4 and a is 3 so 4 square 16 and 2 32 upon 3 so with the help of given equation comparing the given equation with standard equation we have obtained a b with the help of a and b we have obtained c and then whatever it was being asked in the question we have calculated all the values the second example that i have taken here they have given us focus points and vertices and they are asking us to find the equation of the hyperbola if you look at the focus points 0 plus minus 3 so that means focus is lying along y axis it means transverse axis is y axis so in the, this case equation will be y square upon a square minus x square upon b square equals to 1. That means in order to frame that equation we need a and b. Focus. Focus means 0 and plus minus c and here we have given 3. So it will be c is equal to then what x versus 0 and plus minus a means a is root 11 by 2 and as we have learned the relation of a b and c we know that b square can be calculated as c square minus a square c square means 3 square minus a square means root 11 upon 2 whole square so it is 9 minus 11 over 4 after taking LCM 9 fours are 36 36 minus 11 will be 25 25 upon 2 25 upon 4. So if a is this much, a square will be 11 upon 4. Now putting 
1 and 2 in this star equation. So by putting a square as 11 by 4 and b square as 25 upon 4 in this equation which I have marked as star, it will be y square upon 11 upon 4 minus x square upon b square that is 25 upon 4 equals to 1 and we shift from this denominator 4 will come here and after taking LCM our equation will be 25 and 11 will give us 275 25 fours are 100 y square minus 44 x square equals to 1 or it can be written as 100 y square minus 44 x square is equal to 275. This is the required equation of the hyperbola for which focus points and vertices were given. Third example. They are again asking us to find the equation of the hyperbola. Here, focus points are given to us. But along with focus points, length of later symptom is given to us. Again, you can see that focus is on y-axis. It's 0, x value is 0 and y value is plus minus 12. So, focus is lying along y-axis. So, here, as focus point is on y-axis therefore standard equation of hyperbola will be y square upon a square minus x square upon b square is equal to Focus. In this case, we know focus is zero and plus minus c. Therefore, comparing the zero and plus minus twelve and zero and plus minus c, we have got c as plus minus twelve. And C is 12. Then they have given us length of later sector. Length of later sector we have learnt. It is given by 2B square upon A. That means 2B square upon A is equal to 36. Or we can write it as b square is equal to 18a. We are only having value of c. We need to have value of b and a. So if we use a relation of c, b and a, it is c square is equal to a square plus b square. c square means 12 square. In place of b square, we can have 18a plus a square. So, rearranging the terms, we will be having a square plus 18a minus 144 is equal to 0. So, what we have to do is, uh, either using Milton split or using quadratic formula, we have to get the value of a. So, for 18, 24 and 6. 24 and 6 we get the sum as 18. Means we write 24a minus 6a minus 144 is equal to 0. We we'll get the value of a using the limit of it. We have a plus 24 minus 6. So what we have got 
we have got two values of a. One will be getting a equals to six, and other will be getting minus twenty two. We won't be taking a as minus twenty four. A can't be negative. So rejecting this value, a we have got as six. If a is six, what we have written? B square is equal to eighteen a. So B square will be eighteen into six. That is one hundred eight. And B square, B square will be thirty six. Now putting a square equals to thirty six and B square equals to one hundred eight. In standard equation, we'll be having therefore. Equation of hyperbola will be y square upon a square means thirty six minus x square upon b square that is one hundred eight equals to one. Now either we can keep it like this only, or we can have LCM. If we take LCM. So will be one hundred eight, and we'll be having equation as three y square minus x square is equal to one hundred eight. So we have again obtained the equation of the hyperbola according to the given conditions.